Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your event week guide from April 6th until April 17th. Now, this event week is once again a bit lukewarm in my opinion. I'll touch on it after we're done with actually the content of this video itself. Uh, because starting off is 25% off yachts. Moving on, because if you waste your money on that, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. I feel still feel like an idiot. I bought the thing when it came out. 9 million down the drain. I, I, I wish I didn't do it, but stream pressure, man. It... Uh, I still regret it. 25% off select vehicle customization, which is bulletproof tires, suspensions, upgrades, and resprays. Yay. 25% off all the ammo, in case you thought that was expensive. And that's it for the discount. Then there is still double cash and RP and resurrection that's extended until April 10th. And then double cash and RP in Rockstar Stunt Race Series. That's also from today, April 6th, until April 10th, which is on Monday. Which means that on Tuesday, we're going to get a new adversary mode. And uh, yeah, that was... That was it. So if you're looking to make some serious money, uh, go play Double Cash and RP races for Rockstar Creator races only, unfortunately. Um, I wish it was also for content creator ones, it would actually be a nice thing, but unfortunately that's not the case. Um, would really make sense though if they did that, because the special vehicle races creator has been out for like a week or two. Um, so it would have been nice if it was there, but... I guess you can't have everything. Um, one thing I kind of want to touch upon, because uh, this event week is going to run until April 17th. Yeah, so that means on Tuesday we're going to get a new event week, and that's going to be double cash on that. And then on April 17th we're going to get a new, then that event week ends. And on April 18th we're going to get a new event week. One thing I kind of want to touch upon is that the event weeks, in my opinion, they're getting more and more a bit of the same mainly kind of looking at the double cash and rp opportunities now no adversary modes here you know they, they do that to make sure that people go and play them uh, but when it comes outside of that i was actually hoping for them to do something else instead of you know doing stun races again a lot of game modes that that should definitely deserve some more love like capture and lts and you know death matches or even regular races like some other game modes or some other things like hell you know go give an extra increase on import and export or biker or anything like something that is not kind of like the same i know we're nearing the end of gta online but i still think that it's important that if you have these weeks where there's not a new game mode to promote with double cash and rp that there should be some other things that we might not have played for a long time i mean personally i would love to have a double cash in for example captures who, who when is the last time you played a capture if there would be double cash and rp in captures I'd love it. There'd be, there'd be a lot of more people playing, and Capture is one of the best game modes in this game. It's probably my favorite, but no one plays it. So, with Double Cash and RP, that means that those game modes are going to be populated again. If you do Double Cash in deathmatches, there's going to be a lot more people playing that. Yeah, sure, you will still have some helmet fuckboys, but in general, it's going to have a lot more people in there. And I feel like, yeah, sure, you know, races are the most popular thing, but that, in my opinion, should not be a thing that justifies whether or not there should be double RP and the cash on it. I'm kind of hoping that whenever, you know, we're going forward, we're going to get more variation. There was this one weekend where I did the double cash on races, the next day on deathmatches, then on LTS. Like, during those four days, there was always something different. Hell, do that right now. Like... Back when they did the mission double cash, it was a huge thing. Now, I'm not asking, you know, to do specific things or whatever, so we can make a shit ton of money. That's not what I'm asking at all. All I'm asking is to have a bit more variation. So, because the main thing that happens during these double cash opportunities, I guess you want to say, or weeks, or however you want to call it, is it will guide people towards that certain game mode that has double cash on it. It doesn't matter whether or not it's gonna, you know, be the next big thing to make a lot of money on, because that's, in general, when you talk about the average player, they don't really look at that. So, for example, you know, here's Newbie Joe, you know, 665 or whatever, and he's ranked 15, it's like, hey, oh, double cash and RP and that, I'm gonna play that. 
He doesn't have a fucking clue that high stakes is or something like that. He just plays the game. And if you have event weeks with double cash on example deathmatches, little Joe 665 will go ahead and start playing deathmatches, which is beneficial for me and my KD. But alongside of that, it's just, it will populate game modes. And I, like I said, I'd love Rockstar to mix it up a little bit, get some other things, give other game modes and, you know, VIP missions or anything at all, some love. Because like I said, it guides people towards those game modes and it's a positive way of populating your game, in my opinion. But apart from that, that was this uh, event week guide and sort of kind of mini rant as well. Hope you enjoyed. If you're still watching this relatively close to me uploading this and I'll be streaming on Twitch. There'll be a link in the description letting you know whether I'm still live or not. Hope to see you there and I'll see you all later.